bin looks full, probably gonna have to dump again. Big sand street quarter. Not yet, but you're on this end, we might as well dump. Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. Hey, after a three day rain delay, we're back on. We're gonna fire the combine up. I'm gonna get the Ag Essentials kit, Starfire 7000 G5 display in the combine. It's already locked and loaded in the 84 to plant wheat. We're gonna run over, combine a 80 acre field of soybeans and come right in and start no-tilling wheat. Both with the Ag Essentials, both hands-free. We're gonna get up there. Bernie will be running this one. Dad will be running this one. Let's get it installed. Let's go. We are in the machine. I gotta take a couple screws out. The mount mounts up here. Those are them older tractors. Okay, I got it. And the mount goes up like this. Well, how the heck does that go? Oh, like this, like this. It goes in that third screw hole, okay. Okay, the mount is mounted. Okay, now for the display. How does that sit? Yep, just like that. And that just gets held on by these wing nuts. Okay, one, three down, one to go. Now for the power cord. that's it okay monitor set take this off gloves are coming off today guys took the wrapper off finally late in the year now we got to get the globe up on the up on the top of the cab I'm gonna take the globe off of the 7610 hey cuttings come to an end and maybe we can get that disc bind washed up and put away later. Just take and unplug this. And plugged in all summer. Okay. As for the star fire, you just take it. That's it. There she is. Take and put the cap back on this. And uh, tuck it in here. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Pretty handy. Well, that's where she goes. See, that just snaps right on. Okay. Then your cord. Great. Right in there. That's it. She should be locked and loaded. Yeah, it's got a slot right here for this power cord. And the cab, we'll try to set the width on this head real quick. Okay, we're powered up. New work. Okay. Facing. It's at 15 and a half foot. We got to make that 34 and a half. There's your 15, 44, 6, 34, safe. Look at they got a little John Deere icon there. All right, we're about set. One on here, one on there. combine we're running our a line we got a heck of a wash back here i remember planting this if you guys remember i had the drone out we were auto steer planting it and i had to go around a few obstacles but we'll get to the end and we'll hit our b line and we'll see if we can't get this auto steer going going around a tree we gotta hit the headland soybeans are filling up in the bin 
not the best looking beans from what we're seeing so far, but it's very, this is up by gravel pit country. It's a five miles north, rented piece. Oh, a lot of grunt, sand and gravel come out of this area. Go down to the roads down by Detroit. Just made a turn, a lot of moisture in the ground after them two inches of rain. What's your moisture running? 13.6? Right. Which is that's about where we want it. They were at about nine or ten percent. Back head lands off. Getting ready to get back. We decided to go around and open the whole entire field up. Main bin's about full, so we're gonna have to dump. Semi's up here now. Front of the field. We're gonna dump and then we're gonna set our bee line. There he goes, right around the corner. I thought he said that truck was loaded. He dumped it. He oh, dumped he? it and brought it to the field. Look how dry them are. It's tough to hit that hole, isn't it? Well, I tried dumping in a truck like that before and I overshot the tarp. Why you want to dump in that cart on the other side with the dust ball on it? You could have, but the, there's a telephone pole. And yeah, it's definitely not as easy as it looks. We got them guys right there just eating an apple and hanging out. Yeah, you got to be dead center to dump into a semi like that. That's our other hopper bottom trailer. Those are air dumps on them doors. We unhooked that end dump trailer for the high moisture corn off the Peterbilt right there and backed it in the barn. And now we've got two hopper bottoms this year we're running. And she's empty. Clean this turn off and we're going to try to hit that auto track, get that going. Round a tree. Look at that tree. He just hit the auto steer. It's right on his joystick there. And away you go. That's, that's where it's at. Okay, we're hands free. You can get his lunch out and eat with two hands now on the sandwich. There's your soybeans piling up. Like I said, not the best, best yielding field, but not the worst either. Yeah, like I said, this field's five miles north. And we've got another field probably two miles north of this. And then, and then five miles north of that, North Branch. All these three fields uh, just got flooded out with rain. There's just, get, there's just washes, which we didn't get that. Five miles south, I mean, even a mile can make a difference. But five miles south, our beans were really good didn't get a lot of rain. I didn't know that they had this amount of rain up here until you get out here, but it's the way it goes sometimes. Auto track, still engaged. It's just no hands. Sucked up a little bit of sand and gravel. Light, light ground up here, had to back up. Back going. Bean bin looks full. Probably gonna have to dump again. Not yet, but you're on this end, we might as well dump. We're gonna dump direct again. The semi's about full.
we're back at the main farm. Speak of the devil, Lonnie got this disc bind up here, washed off. We'll have to get some get some oil on them turtles. I think I'll get this out of the yard. I mean, it's blocking our main area. I'll put it in the barn temporarily. I'm not quite sure where we're going to put it for all through the winter. This is where we'll keep her temporarily. We got a bump and run, 2% car. That's going in storage. That's Greg's, it makes, made it another year. That chopper's gotta get cleaned up still. And this is his baler. You've seen that in the last video. If it dries up, like it's looking like it's going to next week, from here on out, it's supposed to get up into the 70s again. I'll be raking up more corn stalks and he'll be bailing them. Uh, like I said, on a dry year, we got hit with that rain pretty good, but it's gonna dry back out. You might as well take advantage of it and get more bedding. And then if you don't use them for bedding, people will buy them and they'll try to feed them. And there's, you'll see an ear of corn in them, them corn stock bales. So we're gonna try to do that again. Quick drink of water in the milk house. Stay hydrated. It's a hot one already. Tractors checked over, drills checked over. I'll have to raise that up. They want me to bring it up to the field. It's about a five mile drive ride. No big deal. I'll be up there in a blink of an eye. Quick walk around, everything looks good. And we're in. Oh yeah. She's locked and loaded, boys. System's booting up. Okay. The gang is up. We're gonna go now. We got 20 foot wide span here. Gonna be, gonna be a treat getting down the road. If that been done before, it will happen again. Next time I see you guys, we'll be five miles north. Okay, guys, and the destination is on our right. We're here, and there's Dad still moving. Looks like he just filled the grain cart. foot wide we were combining dad and I he said you might want to get that drill up here before people get out of work around five o'clock wasn't too bad not a ton of traffic roads only 20 foot wide so it was a challenge get out of here there's Greg he's already back dumped a semi load that's the advantage of being five miles north we're that much closer to Brown City so he, it's, it's hop, skip, and a jump, dump a truck. Dried right up on this sand and gravel. He's driving right in this field like it's nothing. like that I'm back at the main farm mixers full mixing army trucks hooked to the seed tender uh, seed company let us borrow that tender full of wheat I got the drill to the field we're gonna start fresh in the morning Bernie's gonna drill that and bring that seed up there tonight it'll be another 70 acres of wheat in the ground with 70 degree weather coming next four or five days
nice evening starting to cool off the boys and dad are finishing up there I come back feeding cows you're seeing already been milked Lonnie back here also Lonnie and Jack two grandsons both my nephews in there milking keeping this keeping this operation rolling goes that wheat seed heading up to the field for morning cows are fed just got to finish scraping up a little bit of manure and then we're good to go And that is all she wrote guys i've got this equipment in here but it still needs to be serviced so that'll be up next on the agenda i'm gonna have to get some filters ordered and um, get the oil changed and some of this stuff let's head home check on the wife and kids see what they're up to oh real quick i got a cow that had a calf i'm gonna get her some feet out of the bunk she laying on the calf yep there's the calf looks just like her it's a little heifer calf I'm gonna leave them in here all night. Oh, she's got her licked off beautifully. Yep, there's mom. There's baby. You get her some feed, she's got water. Hey, you're feeling energized. Hey, bub. Yeah, I'll dip it right out of this bunk. How we doing, girls? How's everybody doing? Oh, little uh, ornery, are you? Yeah, that's good. Oh, that one right there, 18. She's on a mission. Good go, girl. Hey, guys. I'm back. Right here for you. Some feet for you. Okay, let's get out of here. We got a concerned aunt, sister. And she went right for that feed. She's chowing. Chowing on some high protein, high fiber diet. Hey, how you doing, buddy? There's our pumpkin bag. There's, I told you we got some rain. Looking like fall around here, isn't it? Cooling off. Okay, and we're in. And I hear yelling. And they're waiting patiently. Rochelle's got sloppy joes. Sloppy Joe's? Hey, buddy. Hey, Summy. Whoa, Summy's crazy, girl. Grant, you got your sty going down still? I going down. It's going down a little bit. It's looking a lot better. You got a snotty nose, right? Ah! All right, guys, there's the update. These kids are wild and they're crazy, so take care. Give me five. Take care. Sloppy Joes. See you next video. God bless.